Hello, welcome back. It's Thursday the 6th of August today and I am really pleased to be sharing my August allotment plot tour with you. Um, over the last couple of weeks I've been going down the allotment and getting on with an hour here and there and actually made quite a bit of progress so I'm really pleased to be sharing this tour with you today. Now I actually filmed it yesterday but it started raining halfway through and hasn't stopped raining ever since. We've had really bad weather all week actually and it's it's so wet but it's really really warm as well so it's it we are getting into blight territory now and um a few people actually mentioned on the last video i did which was the planting christmas potatoes that that was the main thing that caused their christmas potato um you know harvest to fail last year so fingers crossed we are due some nice weather kind of towards the end of this week and early next week so just fingers crossed everything dries out and we don't get any blight um i don't think i've actually ever had blight before so fingers crossed everything goes okay so i really hope you enjoy watching this tour so starting with my dig allotment firstly my rhubarb is doing so well not sure what variety this was but i bought it as a little crown last year and um yeah i've already harvested once off it and i just i'm so tempted to harvest more but i just don't want to hurt it this year or you know weaken it at all and um, going over to my sarpamira potatoes they are doing okay but they are just starting to flatten a bit now in the wind um, and I think now I'm going to start harvesting them when I run out of my um, shop bought potatoes and my Wilshire second early potatoes. But look here, it just looks like something kind of rolled around in here. I think they're just kind of getting ready now. They're not going to be doing much more growing. Now we're heading over to the um, Mayan Gold. They're looking okay actually they started you know not doing too well but the ones that really got hit by the frost were the um, burgundy ones i can't remember their name but you can see here they just haven't done very well along here at all actually and possibly there's some main gold there as well we'll have to see when we come to harvesting time um here's my gooseberries they're looking okay they're three years old now i've never actually harvested from them at all now coming over to my favourite crop this year is the chickpeas and the soya beans which are behind. Um, the chickpeas are doing so well, they've not been affected by any slugs or snails at any part of my allotment so they're doing really well now and they're actually just starting to flower there so you can see little white flowers on there. Um, first time growing them though so really pleased i think i could have probably put three times as many in there as well and my soya beans they're doing okay and you can see there's little like white white um flowers there and they're about to you know start growing some beans on so i'm pretty pleased with those um yeah and this was where my onions were. Um, I did put a um, squash there, but they didn't do very well. So I've just put some leeks in there. And then we have a squash. Um, this is Crown Prince, which, you know, isn't doing very well at all. But, you know, I'm holding out hope that that's going to grow and produce at least one fruit this year. Just there, we have some elephant leeks um, in the ground, but they're absolutely tiny. There's another squash plant there, not sure what squash that is. Then we have a lovely kale plant there. It's like a semi-perennial kale and we have some leeks. I planted these on a video back in June, I think it was, or early July. And look at those leeks. They are looking amazing and I've never grown leeks before. So I feel like I've had a really good fluke there. There are some more chickpeas just at the end and a random squash not sure what this one is it's growing but it's looking a bit yellow so the jury's still out on whether that's going to produce any fruits uh, these are my burgundy red um potatoes they're you know they're, they're kind of coming to the end of their life as well now so they're kind of be harvested along with my sarpamiras one by one um my um onions these were just planted for the actual flowers they're flowering like mad but we'll see how they do this is my timpily early um rhubarb not ever done very well here especially compared to that other one this is just like yeah i, I don't know what i'm going to do with this one maybe i will dig it up and, and move it somewhere else this year now 
now we're just moving down to the end of the plot that's covered in grass clippings and I've got my um, potato plants there. So here we are on my best bit of work that I've done this month. This is the back of the allotment. It was completely overgrown. I bought my um, electric, my battery powered mower down here and mowed everything and I've made a bit of a makeshift compost heap there so that's a really big pile and that has just come off my no dig allotment and grass clippings from here and there and I, I really worked hard on this. Still quite a bit to do at the end of the plot but I'm very happy. Here is my sweet corn. Very short sweet corn but it's flowered and um, I'm not sure what you call it when it's flowered but um, it does have the beginnings of some fruit there and my perennial kale or perennial brassicas are doing okay some of those have taken there and I'm quite pleased with that I do have some lovely squash growing in between my um, my sweet corn as well so I'm really pleased with how that's doing very weedy though look at that So in my big raised bed, I've got some kale there as well that was from the Heritage Seed Library, but it's like net curtains, isn't it? Hopefully it will just grow nicely though. And then we've got some um, courgettes, three plants this year, which, you know, are growing some nice, um, nice courgettes now, but I really wish I had more to be honest. Um, it seems to be doing really well in there. And, you know, I've got a couple of volunteer potatoes that I've not dug out of that um, raised bed as well. So yeah, all in all, I am pretty pleased with how good my allotment is looking. There's some weeds down there with the sweet corn, but on the whole, it's looking really good. I've just been keeping on top of all of that weeding, really, and, you know, learning more about all of those different vegetables, so I'm very happy. Now we come over to my no-dig allotment. Um, loads of weeding been going on. Um, this raised bed here though wasn't doing very well so I just pulled everything out and I've covered that in grass clippings for this year. My apple tree here though, look at it in the wind, it's just growing sideways. I need to get another stake for that actually because you can just see the poor thing is just on a slant, um, doesn't really stand a chance. But um, yeah, it's looking quite nice there. My potato in a pot. They haven't really done well this year at all, so um, I'll just wait for that to completely die back and then harvest them. This bed here had some onions in, again didn't do very well. I think down at the end there is a, um, a courgette or something. Here we have my Wilshire potatoes. Half of those, the ones at the front are the same seed potatoes and the ones at the back are the shop bought ones so this is a safe one at the front here much smaller but I can't wait to harvest these to see which ones do better and then towards the end of my allotment here we got some sweet corn but that went in quite late I don't think it's going to come to anything at all this year but I'll just leave it in and see what happens in the middle I have a random squash plant no idea what squash plant that is but you can see it's doing okay it's not got any flowers on yet though so the jewellery is still out at the back here it's like my other allotment it's got just grass clippings down over cardboard but you've got bindweed there and you've got cooch grass so you know it's going to need a lot of work down this end of the allotment but the grass clippings are really helping just to kind of dampen down all of those weeds and then I've got my raised bed here, cooch grass is all in there and I've got some um, strawberries in there so not a lot going on with that raised bed this year. But yeah, you know, still quite a lot of work to be doing down at the bottom of this plot but the top, the top half is looking okay so I'm happy. And then down at the end of this allotment as well, I've mowed this and it's looking really good. You know, on the left hand side, we've still got these big dock leaves that I need to chop off before they flower everywhere or put seeds everywhere. But it's, it's looking so much better. Um, I'm coming towards my pond now. Um, the pond needs a really good clean out. It's full of weed actually. But what I've been doing is just pulling lots of weeds out. You can see some at the end there and outside. Um, and letting it dry off so everything can just go back into the water if it needs to and then I'll compost all of that dried stuff. There is a pathway here going towards kind of the grass bit um, but you can see it's overgrown and I had that um, 
beans where those um, bamboo canes are, but unfortunately they just didn't do well at all. My black currants, they were prolific this year, did so well, but they're getting overgrown with cooch grass, so I need to get some, um, I need to get some wood chips down underneath there so it can give some air around the plants. Um, yeah, as I said, this raised bed with the bamboo canes in is just a write off this year. Um, it's full of weeds, so I'm gonna have to sort that out and get everything back because it things did go in there, but then it was just full of um, slugs and snails because it was just a perfect habitat for them. Just down at the front of the allotment now, this is a raised bed again. Look at it, it's full of cooch grass, so that needs some major work doing on it um, this autumn. Um, but you know, I'm I'm pretty pleased with what I've done. There's lupins there that needs cutting down as well, but look how windy it is. So yeah, there you go, that's what's going on. This side of the plot is looking much better, so I just need to keep working on it and building that soil, soil. so when I come to plant it, either in the autumn now or early next spring, everything's gonna be doing so much better. Um, look, my beans though, I've just been rubbish this year. They've not really even gone all the way up those bamboo canes yet, but you know, this is a slow process. I think we just need to remember that a garden does take time and a lot of work. I really hope you enjoyed having a look at my August plot tour today. Now, in my previous video, I did mention that I was hoping to have part two of my patio garden makeover up for today, but I haven't actually done any work on that project at all. I have picked up the pressure washer though, so that's the first job that I do need to get done, but the weather's just not been very pleasant this week, so I just haven't really been up here at all. Um, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos. YouTube have some videos up on the screen now that they think you'll like, so please go ahead and watch those and I will catch up with you in the next episode. Bye!